<laughs> Good morning. I'm here at Panorama Point. This is inside Golden Gate Canyon State Park. And I might have just wiped the lens out right there on the first take. I have finally arrived at this park. My goodness, I've been driving all morning. I think my GPS took me on the dumbest way possible. I mean, I've just been on these crazy, windy roads for forever. But I'm here. And I figured I should probably stop right here, get a picture. This is really pretty. You can see all the way up to Long's Peak. And it looks like everything else is in the clouds. And that's Panorama Point. I'm going to head on over to the base of Tremont Mountain and I'm going to hopefully hike to the top. That's the plan today. It's a pretty easy hike, but the snow might make it difficult. Check this out. Whoa. I believe that is Tremont Mountain right there. And what I'm gonna do is get back on the road, take it down and around to the west side. I'm gonna park somewhere down over here and then just bushwhack it up to the top. Well, that's the end of that. The road is closed. I'm here at the campsite area. I just paid my $10 for my day pass and I'm ready to hike. Official start time, 9.10. And there it is, Tremont Mountain. That's what I'm gonna go for today. And normally, if you can get up the road, you can park like right at the base of it and hike to the top. It's a really short one. However, I had to park at the campsite. So that's gonna add a few miles. I've made it back down to the main road and the name of the campground is the Reverend's Ridge Campground. And then right behind the sign, Tremont Mountain. That's going to take some doing. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of deep snow up there. Okay, and I am up to a mountain base road. And as you can see, they've got this closed. We're looking at a 19% grade. So don't be bringing your motor home up here. This road is incredibly beautiful. I just popped over the hill and it looks like the road starts going down for quite a while. And I just checked the GPS and it does look like the trailhead is way down there if I stay on the road. But I mean, that goes down like 400 feet. That's the summit right there. That's a half a mile away. I think I'm gonna cut off right here and just go for it. And from here on out, it's gonna be spicy. Hiking in the snow is not my specialty. Well, but we're gonna give this a shot. I 
I just checked the GPS and I'm looking at about a thousand vertical feet and about four tenths of a mile. So that's gonna be fun. This is uncomfortable, but it's not impossible. Not yet. It does look like it gets steeper up here though. So we'll see. GPS has shown me just over 9,600. And I've got maybe a quarter mile up to the summit. But this is where it starts getting really steep. And these boulders are causing a problem. And I think I may have found a way through. Right there. Sorry I'm not doing very much video through here. It's just really hard. I'm probably just over 10,000 right now. And the summit is just over 10,300. According to the GPS, I'm just over 500 feet away from the summit. Now I probably got about 200 vertical feet left. The summit is literally right there. I'm less than 200 feet away from it. But these rocks up here are getting really sketchy and I just had a really close call just now. I went sliding down in between these rocks right here and I dang near just blew out my right knee. That was really scary. It just kept going down and down. I made it up pretty dang far, I'm getting some really good views. Oh my goodness. I'm ready to just put the poles away and see if I can get up there. I mean, I'm so close. Yeah, guys, this is a no-go. I mean, it's just way too dangerous. There's these big holes up here in between the rocks and one slip into them could be the end of my knees forever. And this is looking back down at what I came up. And this is gonna be really treacherous here for a minute. Well, I tried my best. I just didn't want to get hurt up here because this is really crazy. If I can get off this thing without hurting myself, I'll consider that a success even though it's a hike fail.
please let me get off this safe and sound. I am a little bit scared right now. Whoa. And I am just about down it. Thank goodness. Because that was slightly sketchy. I probably fell down about five times coming down this thing. It's just booby trapped with slick rocks and downed trees. Hallelujah. I am just about back to the road. Oh my goodness. I am really happy about that. There are some benches right here in front of me and that's where I'm gonna sit and take my break because I have not stopped this entire time. Oh yes. I'm just guessing, but I think that's Beerstadt and Evans right there in front of us. I'm like 99% sure. Well, on second thought, let's just head on over to the parking lot here and sit on the dry concrete. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm off the snow. It is still a beautiful day out here. And that's looking back up at Tremont Mountain. I was so close to the top up there. Check it out on the GPS. I mean, we're talking less than 200 feet away from the summit. I just couldn't get over those rocks. You bastard mountain. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm gonna get you one of these days. Oh, I think I can see the pile of rocks up there too. Yeah, I still had a little bit to go. About a hundred vertical feet. I was not wearing my spikes up there, but I was wearing my gaiters. I haven't worn these in years, but my goodness, they were worth their weight in gold today. I was just afraid to wear the spikes because like if my foot went down and got caught on something, I thought that could be worse. I figured it'd be better if it could just slide off something instead of getting caught, blowing my knee out. Well guys, it's about 12.30 right now. I'm not even sure how long I've been sitting here. Probably 20 minutes or so. But it is time to go. It's time to head on back. Well, it looks like they've got this road open now. I've been passed by a bunch of people. I'm gonna find out here in a few seconds. Coming around the corner. Yep, it's open. Big old Meeker and Longs in the background. They're just caked with snow right now. It's gonna take a while for that to melt, hopefully. That's gonna give us some good flowers this summer. Even though I didn't make it to the summit, I am really thankful I got off that mountain 
without any injuries. My bad knee is a little tender right now. I'm not sure what I did to it. And what is going on here? What are these? Are these dogs? Are these dogs? Oh, there's a bunch of little baby. What are those? Little baby coyotes. Oh, aren't you cute? I'm back and the GPS has that at 3.5 miles that's the toughest 3.5 mile hike I can remember doing I'm so glad to be sitting down but I hope you enjoyed the hike and until the next one y'all peace